All right, so here we are in Houdini 20.5 and we'll be covering part three. And this is the rendering part of the tutorial. So here we got our vehicle, we scaled it down and now we got our attributes here. So what we're doing here in this wrangle is that we are getting the shop material path strings and we're converting them into a group name. So if we look at our groups right here, we can see all the groups that are assigned to the car. So, so instead of the materials, now they're converted into groups. So that comes into um, action when we import um, our car. So the next part is that we had prepared our car. We put groups in the different places and we did our bullet solver simulation. So now we're going to get the output of that simulation and we're going to unpack it. And what we'll import is our SIM car. So coming into Solaris, we can import our car, just create a SOP import and just like this one. And inside the SOP material path, we can look for our SIM car and we'll grab our SIM car, accept. Now we can see our car and we'll add a grid as a floor. Here's the grid. Let's change the size to 10 and we'll merge these two together. Now we got the floor and the car and we'll add a dome light as well. And, uh, oh, and we'll bring in our smoke as well. So SOP import. I think it was called smoke out. Let's just type in smoke. Okay, so we got smoke and tire smoke. So we'll add the smoke and our tire smoke. Perfect. So now with our dome light, could put it to maybe two and then we'll go into the viewport perspective and karma xpu now we could see our render here so in our dome light we can add a texture so we could put uh where i have mine stored i think it's dollar hip texture let's see yeah, so, so this gives us like a good base to where we can start building our materials. So we can create a material library. Here's where we're gonna store all, all of our materials inside this node, and we'll need an assigned materials node as well. If we dive inside, we can create our Karma Material Builder, We'll create the volume and we'll create another karma for the floor, karma material builder for the floor. So we'll do car paint. We'll do smoke. So we'll smoke one and two, copy that. And then we'll have floor. So we'll dive inside and we'll create. So grabbing the standard surface, we can change the color on the base. Add some metalness in the specular, add some roughness. And in the coat, we just drag it up and put the roughness to zero. We'll go back, uh, smoke. We can just change the color to blue and we'll go in the other smoke and we'll change the color to red or pink. So we can see what that looks like. And then the floor for now, we'll just make it black and add a little bit of metalness and specular. So now going back, 
in order to get the materials out of the material library, we have to go to the material library section where it says fill, autofill materials. Now we could see all of our materials populate. We'll grab our sign materials here and we'll grab the, oh, okay, you see here, um, our groups are not coming in. So what we'll need to do is go into cart, go into the material data and subset groups, click on there. Now you can see we got all of our groups here. We're going to put a star on it. So all of our groups populate in. So now we can go back to assign material. We'll get our car paint red. That's the name of the group. And then car paint. Brought our car paint. We'll add another material here. And we'll add the floor. So that is grid here. We'll add the floor. And then here, we'll go to our volume and we'll put the volume material, smoke this one, and then add another material and add our second volume. So import four volume and five and smoke. So for the floor material, what I ended up doing was uh, using a texture and then I added a mix node. And inside the mix node, there's a section here under the dropdown under signature, you'll see surface shader. So now this turns to that kind of same color as the material. We'll put that into the mix and we'll add that to surface. And now what we can do is mix between two different shaders. And we can have maybe this shader be a blue. And then what we used for the mix was a noise. So we can use a unified 3D noise. We'll add the frequency up and you can start seeing the, the detail there. We can use fractal. So I believe that's what I used. And we can go back to our shader, maybe make it uh, dark again, but it's actually more reflective. And then here we can add more metalness or less, let's see what that looks like. Yeah. So you can do that and then duplicate the noise again, add another mix. Not min, sorry, a uh, mix node. So we'll have these two here, add our mix here, and then we'll add another. So now if we start tweaking uh, the different sizes, we can put like maybe five and five, and then in here we can put two, two, and two. Just start messing with the different inputs and different things. And then you can get like an in interesting um, non-uniform pattern, I guess. Um, and then you just assign your textures into the standard material surfaces. So that's what I did in in my case. So if you go, so if we go back, I can show you my original setup, which was very similar. So we had our merges in with our smoke. We had a regular dome light, which I put a switch so I could turn it off. 
um, so I can add the other dome light later. So we'll, we added the materials. So if we turn that switch back on, you can see that's what our street looks like is the same kind of build that I showed you. And then we'll, let's turn off that switch again. Okay. So we got the dome light here and then we got some headlights in here that we added. So what we ended up doing here was um, creating a copy to points. We merged the headlights. So going in here, um, we have the headlights. So, so we'll, we grabbed the car, we blasted the headlights, And then we blasted it even further and we just ended up with two points. And then those two points we used to instance or copy our lights. And then the same thing with the side mirrors here. We have the side mirrors, blasted those, grabbed just the two points and then car rig side lights. So these are two points here and two points here. So when we go back, we create a copy to points and inside we merge our points. Okay. And same thing with this one. So anything that's on the, on this side of the chain is just going to get copied. So we have two different lights. We have a, we have a rectangle light and we have a point light. So that's that part. Uh, same thing we did here. A little bit different. We created a line like this, uh, centered it, added it. So not, and we could see the points here, each one of these points are going to be used as instance points. So if we go back here, we could see that now we have our, our lights. So if I pin this view and go inside the go inside the copy to points, I could make this longer or shorter. It looks like I'm missing a light here. I'm not sure why. Let's see. If we go to here, reset viewport. Oh, I see. That's why, because there's actually no points there. So what we can do is do a resample and then we can add the number of points. So we can put um, eight or six. We'll delete that extra one that was in there. So now we have our seven points and we go back and now we can see our lights are distributed nice. The other cool note here is the light mixer. And in the light mixer, um, I added all of our lights here. And we can see that we have some area lights here, area lights five. So let's add our render back in. And then if we change the color of a light, you can see that that works. And we could also change the intensity as well. Perfect. Then the next thing is the shots. You start adding your cameras. So we got four cameras now. Add our, add our camera. All right. And uh, let's bring this back to default. Okay. And uh, if you want to add motion blur, you got to add a cache node. And that cache node is what caches all the frames so it knows how to calculate the motion blur. So now if we take a look, now it's calculating all the frames. So we'll just wait a little bit until that part is done. And the option I put on the cache uh, node is the um, cache up to the cook frames. Because if you have a really long sequence, like you don't want to be having to wait to see the motion blur like while you're while you're kind of testing things out with lighting and compositions. 
So now if we get our Karma XPU on, you're going to see that there's just a little bit of motion blur in here. So we're on camera three and we can increase the shutter. Let's remove the lights here from, from the viewport. So now you can see that there's this motion blur being calculated. For me, I'm probably not going to use it because I feel like Karma is already taking long enough to render. Um, so I'll probably do it in post. So yeah, now you know how to do the motion blur. But we'll turn it off for now. And let's see, camera two. Let's see what that looks like. Okay, and then in the rendering, it's pretty simple. Uh, we'll add our Karma render. So if we put... If you put Karma, it automatically adds the USD ROP, and then you can set your settings to render. But in here, you'll change your, this is, so usually in, in uh, the old way of rendering, you would do your camera uh, settings, your camera resolution in, inside the camera. So, but now you do it in the render settings. So you can change the settings here to, 1080p or you just put manual and you know 1920 1080 and then you can choose which engine so you can use the gpu which is xpu and then you could bump the samples to maybe 512 or 256 and that should be a good amount to first try and then over here um in the output picture, if you put dollar sign OS, it actually grabs the name of the node. So if I put car render, and if I middle mouse click, I will have car render in here. So that's pretty much the setup. And um, if there's anything confusing of what I did here, uh, be sure to put in the comments and I'll try to clarify things out a little bit. And, and in the future, maybe I'll share some of these files on uh, Patreon or something like that. So yeah, this is the setup that I did. And uh, if you have any questions, just drop them in the comments below. And if you're new here, be sure to subscribe and uh, I'll keep posting new videos every week. And yeah, hope you guys have a great day.